Yo my people then, CFC Redis Blue back with another video and it's the match review for the Chelsea vs Newcastle game in the Premier League Summer Series pre-season match which ended 1-1 as you can see. Goals from Nicholas Jackson and Almiron keep the game level and ends the match as a draw. But um, I'd like to thank everyone for all your support on the watch along, nearly 6,000 views. More than 30 likes on the video, my highest grossing video, watch along, anything that's on this channel. So thank you to everyone for your support. And continue to subscribe and show support to the channel as I greatly appreciate it. You don't know how much it means to me to do the stuff that I love to do and to provide content for you guys. But let's get into the match review now. And what better way to start than the Nicholas Jackson goal, man. Get me. Got the ball. Cassidy passes it through to Matson. Matson passes it through to Nicholas Jackson. First time finish, bottom corner. A easy as you like. And the instinctive finish that Nicholas Jackson has. A this boy, he will does wonders, man. Does wonders. And it's always the guys that don't get that don't have a lot of expectation that generally do very well for Chelsea. Nicholas Jackson is doing just that. He now has five goal contributions in three games. He has two goals, three assists in three matches. He is doing his thing. And right now, he is the, be he is the best player I've seen for Chelsea during this preseason. He's been involved in everything. But whether it's goals and assists, if you look at during the match as well, his hunger, his desire to win the ball back, Put man like Anthony Gordon on the floor. Stay there. Get another Newcastle player. Stay on the floor. Do step overs. Get into the box. Looking dangerous. Nicholas Jackson, you, my friend, you are doing your thing. You are doing your thing. And even when I said that when he was coming to Chelsea, that a man like you, that you're going to make bare man cry, bare other fans cry. And trust me, you will. Because you are a baller. And your performance today was excellent. And you are definitely my man of the match. My man of the match, easily. No cap. But then we still go ahead into the match. And after that, Newcastle did take, did control the game very well. And we didn't have nearly as much possession as them. We were playing on the counter attack most of the time. But as the match went on, Newcastle grew into the game. They did end up um, scoring just before the end of the first half. And this is so annoying. Because a man like Kukurele, yeah, why do you allow so much space for Amaron to run into? Please tell me why you do this. If you stay closer to your man instead of allowing him to peel off of you, they might not have scored that. But he has an easy finish, easy chance. Kepo one on one. More, more often than not, it's going to be a goal. It's going to be a goal. So, yeah, man, it's frustration. Bad way to end the first half, but going to be real. Newcastle is a very good team and did get top four last season. So, it is a tough test. And I did expect them to score. My score prediction was 2 1, but it's 1 1 in it. So, yeah, man, not ideal, but Cucurello, you could have prevented that. And things like this, the reason why I would prefer to start Matson. Or even Lewis Hall over you if Ben Shaw ain't starting. So, yeah, man, Ukraine really needs to do better. But in the second half, Newcastle for me are probably the better team. They control the game throughout the most and look threatening. Man like Alexander Isaac, he is a problem. Man, twist and turn Reese James differently, bro. And I can't cap. He was doing his thing. But more, more often than not, he was silent, didn't have many shots on the goal, probably had one shot at most, but Newcastle, they just controlled the game, but they didn't look too threatening on the attack. They couldn't break us down, and we couldn't necessarily break them down, even though we did have a, another chance in the second half with Conor Gallagher and then Kunku having shots on targets. But it was pretty even, no clear-cut opportunities in the second half, and the, and the game it ends level, which is deserved. I can't necessarily say that Newcastle were much better than us, but I can't say that we were much better than Newcastle. So it's a pretty even game. 1-1 is a fair result. 
and now we turn our heads to Fulham, but still on this um, still on the Newcastle match. The team, I have to talk about someone like Reese James. It's good to see him play, but I feel like he needs a lot more um, game time. Bashir Humphreys, you had a very good match as well. Then we also have um, we also have Ezo Fernandez who had a good game. Him and Cassidy working well in the um, defense midfield areas. And then Nicholas Jackson and Kunku, the players that I want to see start today. You guys great played very well together for the time that you were on the pitch together. Nicholas Jackson outshining Kunku. And, and Kunku didn't have one of his best games, but he was still calm on the pitch. But not like Mikhail or Mudrik, he looked threatening, taking guys on one-on-ones. Abbey Road, he made a man's leg break. I don't know how, but obviously, I don't know which player I mean, but made a man's leg break. And Modric, he's getting warmer and warmer. The more games he plays, the further into the season that we go, we're going to see Modric taking on players, but not only are we going to see him take shots and score, we're going to see him... I got mixed up. What I'm trying to say is that instead of seeing him dribble with the ball, lose the ball. He's going to start doing all of that by adding the goals to his finish. So for me, Mudrik is going to do better and we just need to keep on performing well. This preseason tournament, this preseason overall, has been very good. We haven't lost. We now have scored 10 goals and conceded four. That's a plus six goal difference. And the football just overall is much more entertaining. I felt like this match flew by real fast and i remember this time last year maybe this time last year but last season most of the times the game just took forever and ever to end that's because we're not necessarily enjoying it this match the last two games been enjoying it because the attacking football we see the conflicts we see in the players just the different scenarios that we're seeing it's a whole lot better and a whole lot more positive we cannot feel negative about any of these results because we haven't lost and on top of that we played very well and scoring goals. So for me, this is a very good performance from the team. And hopefully we can continue this against Fulham on Thursday. But until then, we have to deal with this. Pochettino, big you up. Big you up for everything you're doing with the team so far. And hopefully it can continue. But that's going to be, that's going to be my last comment. So, you guys, thank you for all your support on the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Facebook for more Chelsea content. Tell your friend, tell their friend, subscribe to the channel. Follow CFC underscore Riddles Blue, as I will be providing the Chelsea content for you guys, and I love doing this. So thank you to everyone. Leave your comments down below on who you thought was the best player that you liked in this match. Let me know down below. But on that note, thank you to everyone. Had more than 6,000 views on the watch along. So it means everything. It means everything. And I will continue to do this stuff. So please continue to your support. And catch you guys for the next video, which is going to be my, um, which I will be doing Chelsea News or another watch along on Thursday. But to all you guys, I hope you have a good day. And as always, come on Chelsea, come on Chelsea. The game ends level 1-1, Chelsea versus Newcastle, Almiron and Nicholas Jackson scored. You guys have a good day and catch you in a bit. I'm CFC with this blue and I'm out. Peace. Come on Chelsea, come on Chelsea. Nicholas Jackson, you are a bad man.